did it, but there's more. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin, he was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Loves you. I can feel his love calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. We're
this far, <laughs> but the bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, Senna? Dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Not in this world.
You're still alive and Dillian's dead. He doesn't deserve to be dead. How does that make you feel? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe Baldur's mother confesses, I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. I didn't 
And for this, Hood is slain. Years had passed since she left her father. You're cursed. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. He was the only one. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. They mean nothing. Gods are just toys playing with her. What if the gods are laughing at her? Messing with her. It wouldn't be the first time. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. She had lost you up, and now they're going. 
to watch you for you. you. These trials don't nothing. Laughing at you. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The way he touched you. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Sinua, your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. So we fix them by taking away their sight. Would you give up the beautiful world? You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is... Po 
pointless. What if you're wrong? What if it has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. <laughs> you don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. There's there he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air is gone. Keep going. <laughs> it's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water, she could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. found a way to climb the tower the ladder quick what now you can see it aligned to the truth the bridge
You did it. She did it. It's not done yet. 